Hey everybody, this is Jace with WMPowerUser.com and recently a new uh, emulator uh, for a new build for Windows 10 Mobile became available. It's 10563 uh, is the build and um, while there's not a ton of uh, different things really that are visible, um, there's just a couple things uh, that are noteworthy. First of all, if you've been paying attention to the Insider build of Windows 10 or anything like that, you'll know that um, Microsoft is working hard to get their Skype experience unified and now on Windows 10 Mobile in this particular build. Um, the uh, Skype messaging is not a separate app or anything. It's official, it's integrated, and it's right here and available. Um, now, call me crazy, but I think these pictures um, from the people right there are also a little bit larger, too. And speaking of that, um, there's some improvements to the People Hub, uh, similar type of thing, larger photos. Uh, larger circles um, for your contacts right there in the people hub so I'm um, really these are kind of seem to be kind of fine-tuning things you know make that a little bigger or smaller uh, just to kind of uh, make it all uniform um, there's a couple of other things right in here um, in the settings if we jump into our system and our display um, you can see we can scale things across the entire app or uh, I'm sorry, across the entire uh, operating system. Um, of course, to do that, I have to restart. I'm not going to make you wait for that, but um, it's good to see. You know, uh, you can customize the size of your text, uh, uh, basically operating system wide. Um, so it's good to see that kind of stuff. The other thing we're going to see is uh, a couple of things for developers. This make your device visible to USB connections and your local network. Uh, you can toggle those back and forth. So really just a, a couple of things uh, that are big for developers. Um, really the largest thing in here is the new integration for Microsoft Edge. Now again, if you've been paying attention to this, um, the insider build, you'll know that just about a day or so ago, uh, syncing your reading and list and your history and your favorites, um, the option to sync that became available in a Windows 10 Insider build and now we're seeing that that's available um, for Windows 10 Mobile as well. And it does seem to crash on me a lot in the emulator, especially when I jump into this menu. But, oh, nope, I'm not going to catch it. But there is a sync toggle um, right here inside. Oh, I can't get to it. Um, but there is a sync toggle right there inside to turn on and off the sync of, again, the history, your reading list, uh, that kind of stuff. So uh, that's just a quick look of uh, some of the stuff that's new. Again, nothing really huge groundbreaking. It seems like a lot of things are fine tuning and tweaks and stuff like that. But, you know, it's good to see that uh, they're still pushing forward, uh, improving integration between Skype and Microsoft Edge. They're definitely welcome improvements. So as always, head to wmpoweruser.com for the latest news, tips, apps, and pretty much everything related to Windows Phone.